All Saints Sunday, Year B. From the Wisdom of Solomon. In the time of their visitation they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The point of this image of sparks and stubble is that when God puts the righteous to the test, the shining of their worthiness will not keep to itself, but will instead ignite the worthiness of others. And that ignition will start a chain reaction. Today is All Saints Sunday, when we are called upon to remember that we are surrounded by an entire cloud of such witnesses and to consider what it means that these witnesses, these saints, are in communion with us. In the book of Revelation, we see John's vision of the new Jerusalem, and we hear the voice declaring that the home of God is among mortals. The rest of the message is in the future tense, and that weird telescoping of time where what was and is and is to be all come together at once is an important aspect of our beliefs about both the kingdom of God and the communion of saints. Just as the kingdom has been, is now, and is to come at the end of all time, so also has the ministry and visitation of the saints been a part of our history in the past, is now a source of inspiration, companionship, and support in the present, and will be the hospitality committee at the heavenly banquet. In John's Gospel, we see Jesus' reaction to the sight of Mary's weeping and that of others who come with her. This fellowship and commiseration deeply moves Jesus so that even before he comes to the tomb, Jesus begins to weep. It's not just about Lazarus. Some speculate about Jesus' love for Lazarus, while others wonder why Jesus didn't save him from death. What they all fail to realize is that Jesus is weeping with them. Like Jesus, the saints are with us, commiserating with us, praying for us when we are unable to pray for ourselves, and urging us to open wide the gates and doors of our heart, soul, mind, and strength to invite the King of Glory into our midst. That invitation is for now when the tears are still on our faces, when mourning and crying and pain still wring our hearts within us, when we still stand in the midst of the stubble of our broken intentions, and when the hill of the Lord still rises up in front of us. May the saint's example ignite in us the fire of eternal love. In the name of the God of love, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.